Welcome back to a new Food Reviews with Fatty. As always, I'm your host, Fatty, a.k.a. Jay. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't know, now you know. You know? Welcome to the channel. If you're new. And if you're not, welcome to the channel the other way. Um, so today I do have something slightly different, as usual. Um, this is something that's really different from the one and only Wendy's. Um... This very well could be the last time I do a review of a Wendy's item also. Um, basically just because of their ignorance. Uh, <laughs> I go in to buy a Frosty. And as you can see, this Frosty is literally the length of my finger. They charge me $1.29 for this Frosty. And it's a new Frosty. Uh, yeah, so the value is crap. Because this isn't even big enough for a little child. If you see, look, you can see the little tiny frosty. Um, yeah, it's just not, not, not there. I mean, value-wise, already I've already decided the value is crap, crapola. And then on top of that, I always order carry out because I'm usually on my scooter, and today it's supposed to rain. So I was thinking, well, since it's gonna rain, I'll ride the scooter, but. I'm going to have to be in and out real quick, so I decided to jump in the drive-thru. Because I've never had a problem with them doing anything in the drive-thru. Um, so I get in the drive-thru, and I'm like, hey, I got a mobile order. You know, I ordered it through carryout, but I just wanted to pick it up through the drive-thru. So that way I can get in and out of here, was my thought. Before it rained. Okay, it was literally supposed to rain shortly after I'm making this video. At any time now, the sky is going to crack open. And it's going to be pouring rain because we're getting to the point of hurricane season here in Florida. So I tell the gentleman my name. And he tells me, well, I'm going to have to check you in and decide, so come on in. To which I'm like, wow, because this has never been a problem. Ever, 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 ever. Um, any of the girls working the drive through normally are always okay. Uh, this guy, I don't know what his deal was. But if you ever go to Wendy's and you happen to see a kind of heavy set, tall, white guy with a goatee, chances are he's going to either screw up your order or he's obviously not capable of doing what he's supposed to do. Um, so, yeah, you're going to find that. And <laughs> I just don't understand it. I mean, I've never had this problem before. And it seems like the Wendy's there is just getting worse and worse. This is Wendy's US 19 in Pinellas Park. Uh, it's just getting more and more terrible. I don't know what's going on. Um, I was lied to when I bought a chicken sandwich a while back, a chicken BLT. The lady literally told me that they're trying to save on, uh, to, uh, tomato, so they don't put tomato on the sandwiches. What? Um, it's called a BLT for a reason, so yeah, that was terrible too. Anyhow, I'm gonna get to the video. Uh, this is the value size. <laughs> yeah, value size is a thimble of Frosty. Uh, value size... This is the new Triple Berry Frosty. Now, I want to go ahead and put out the disclaimer. This did say... <laughs> this is pretty amusing. This did say artificially and naturally flavored in subtitles at the bottom of the sign. So, I already know basically it's probably going to have some kind of tart flavor, but it's really not going to be a berry flavor. Especially not three different kinds of berries. This isn't a smoothie here. This is a Frosty. This is Wendy's way of doing a smoothie, but they refuse to do a smoothie. I, I I just don't understand that marketing. The research and development team needs to go back to the drawing board, because that's kind of ignorant, really. Yeah, this is the value size. I can sip this down right now in one drink, probably. But anyhow, I'm not going to do all that. I want to test it, actually. And yes, I'm in Florida, so it's a little melty. You're going to notice that right off the rip. Uh, but I'm going to try to get some of the more frosty style uh, bite here. Um, so yeah, this was like a buck seventy all altogether, something like that, like a buck fifty, buck seventy. And apparently the calories are like two hundred calories for this one little cup of super sweetness. Oh wow, yeah, there we go. Mm. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to say it. I'm convinced that they're doing something here that's not cool. Uh, 
their pumpkin frosty last year tasted like a iced coffee. Their orange dreamsicle tasted like something not orange dreamsicle, no orange flavoring. And now here we are with the triple berry shake. Oh, I'm sorry, frosty. And they got me wondering if they're even trying anymore. <laughs> I mean, their company is not losing any money. Clearly, people still buy their stuff. But here's my real thing, okay? Not only did the last two Frosties that I get have some weird tastes to them, this one has an even weirder taste, and I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. I can taste what almost tastes like a hint of Robitussin. <laughs> that could be a good slogan for Wendy's. At Wendy's, you can get your triple berry frosty. Your kids will eat it and pass out. Got your kids robo tripping at, at, at 14 years old or 10 years old, 9 years old, eating a frosty and just. That's basically what we got going on here. So, yeah, this is pretty disgusting. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. Uh, it's sweet. That is one thing it's got going for it. But I mean, it really does have this like taste like cough syrup. Yeah, it don't taste like berries, but it's like when you get that uh, mixed berry Robitussin or whatever, or, or flavored, you know, like, you can taste it. So, yeah, anyhow, uh, yeah, this is actually terrible, actually. So, I'm going to go ahead and go, do the review now. Uh, two thumbs down for this, completely for value. Uh, presentation, not really there. There's really not much of a presentation. And to be perfectly honest, um, the taste is like Robitussin. It tastes like cough syrup. It's like they took grape cough syrup, they took out all the stuff that induces you to want to fall asleep, and then they put it in this. This is terrible. I give two thumbs down for the taste completely. Um, so at least I'm not completely disappointed because I got to try the new one, but it's garbage. Um, so let's go ahead and use Mr. Predicto. Let's go ahead and see what he has to say. So, Mr. Predicto, <clears throat> does this Wendy's Triple Berry Frosty suck? It has been determined so. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Predicto, for not being so unpredictable. All right? So, yeah, that's the, that's the main point right there. The, the, the point of this is it just sucks. It's, it's not good. Uh, this is another Frosty concoction. Just make it taste like the flavor you say it's going to. Add a little berries in there, some real flavor, some real f fruit. What? I don't understand it. It's like, Wendy's is like, let's come up with a artificially, naturally flavored uh, everything. And we'll just put it out. People won't notice the difference. They don't care. And yeah, I get it. It's fast food. But come on, man. I mean, guys, it, are you even trying is what I want to know. Because this is the worst Frosty yet. I can say that there was one that I liked, and that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and say it. The only one I liked so far was the Peppermint Frosty around Christmas time last year. That was pretty good. But three out of four Frosties were really terrible. So that does tell you something about your research and development team. Uh, they either need to quit, get better... Or drug out in the street and beat. <laughs> it's the best way to say it. And I hope you don't go with the third idea and just take them out and beat them all down. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, this is the worst I've ever tasted, honestly. Um, it's just not impressive at all. It's, it's real super sweet, and that's it. And it's like you took cough syrup, dumped it in a cup, froze it, unthawed it. I'm sorry, thawed it. Uh, then took and mixed it with some ice cream, added a whole cup of sugar, and this is what you get. Bam. Like a magic elixir. It's like watching Link in the game Legend of Zelda when he cooks up the food. That's how they pretty much did it, and it just poof. And there you are with this disgusting purple Grimace colored. And that's right, I said Grimace like from McDonald's. That's colored like Grimace. That's what it looks like. Take a look closer. It's like purple, like Grimace's backside, yeah. Or anywhere side, really, I mean. But yeah, so this is actually terrible. I'm not going to give it any more 
time that it really deserves. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it a day. I want to say thank you to everybody who's watching the videos. If you liked or subscribed recently, I want to say thank you especially. I, I really, really appreciate it. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you want to see me do anything, uh, put it in the comments below. And I'll be more than happy to review something unless you are a company. If you're a company, contact me about sponsorships. Uh, that's going to be, you can contact me for business inquiries at foodreviewswithfatty at gmail.com. That's foodreviewswithphattty at gmail.com. And I would be more than happy to negotiate a sponsorship uh, fee, so to speak, in order to review your products on the channel here and whenever the new ones come out. Also to uh, promote from within, uh, which I'm more than happy to do that here on the videos. Um, it doesn't bother me to promote anybody, uh, but I would prefer to be able to make a little money off of that as well to help out the channel here so that way we can grow a little bit. Um, so that's basically all I got to say about that there. I'm going to move this frosty, this crappy. I'm going to move this crappy, move the crapola over here off camera so that way I can do my next portion of everything else that I do on this channel, uh, typically about this time. And of course, as always, Food Reviews with Fatty, out.